Good morning, everyone! Just kidding, it's 7.20. Oh my god, that's so weird. In my last vlog of this video, I was like, it's 7.20. But I'm filming a Q&A today because I didn't vlog anything. And you know why I didn't vlog anything? Because in my last video, you probably saw I had this essay due. Yeah, I wrote it all today. And then I came back to my room, tried to take a nap, couldn't. My under eye circles are atrocious Atro atrocious that's where i'm at right now but i was like well obviously i have to film something for today so i was like why not do a q a i love a good q a why are you what are you doing shawnee's watching my vlog right now i just finished it how did you finish that so fast i just skipped the parts that i was in <laughs> So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you should, because then you can see these really pretty photos I post of me on my story. Um, really pretty, I know. Let's let's get into the Q&A. I have a lot of questions, so I'm just gonna read through them, and if I think one is funny, or if I think I should address it, then I'm gonna answer it. First one's from Pearl. Why did you hang up on Pearl to watch the, riff, the Rich Life's vlog? Um, for those of you that don't know, I have this really weird obsession with um, this YouTube family called um, The Rich Life, and yeah. How much do you miss Pearl? An absolutely insane amount, but it's fine because we FaceTime like four times a day, so I keep updated with her. Ever had a boyfriend? Because I know people are trying to get with you. Don't even front. Um, I've never had a boyfriend, and I have to say that's false. What's your favorite memory from high school? Uh, my friend group. I literally just like miss them so much. That was like... Yeah, or summer 16. What was your second choice school? Um, I was gonna go to St. Andrews in Scotland. What other schools did you get into? Watch my college acceptance video for the answers to that. How to stay positive even when it sucks. What I do when I'm like super anxious or something or just like really not feeling myself, um, I usually just make a list of things that I'm grateful for. And for some reason, just like handwriting like things and people in your life that you like, whether it's like food or music or just like your friends or stuff, like something like that, it honestly like really helps and like helps you like center yourself. How are college parties? Honestly, I am kind of over frat parties already. I know a lot of people that are freshmen really like frat parties still and that's great, but I don't know. I just like, I don't like going out that much because then I feel really tired and I like feeling good the next day. So I don't know. I'm not like super into partying, but like I do like it sometimes. Was UCSB your first choice for college? Yeah, UCSB has always been like my dream school and like there were other schools that I like wanted to go to but I always kind of knew that I wouldn't get in just because I like didn't have like the best grades in high school so I was just kind of like being realistic except I wanted to go to St. Andrews for a really long time so it was like either Scotland or California but I'm so happy with my choice. I'm getting a lot of questions on like mental health and talking about my experience with mental health and I think I'm gonna do like my whole mental health story soon just because I don't talk about my depression a lot just because that's not something I struggle with on a daily basis anymore but I'm definitely gonna do a video like that very soon maybe for like one of my vlogmas videos um just because I've been wanting to film it for a while. Go to coffee order. I either get a um black iced coffee which i used to get a lot but now i really like lattes but when i get lattes i get four shots of espresso because i like my coffee really strong a lot of questions like about ucsb and like how i like ucsb and i literally love it like the first two three weeks were really hard and so that was something i didn't like but overall like i would not transfer anywhere else like i love it are people different on the west coast to the east coast yes which was really weird at first because i thought coming to the west coast it'd be like super cool that i was like from the east coast and everything and i thought i'd be like different um but no it's like i feel like if you don't know a lot of like the californian like slang or like things about california it's like you seem weird like i definitely i say word sometimes like if someone's like oh come meet me here i'll be like okay word but here that's like really weird and like not cool so there's like little things like that and um a lot of people from california uh no shade i feel like i'm gonna get hate for this but like a lot of people think that like california is like the only place in the world 
and like I love California like I came here for college but sometimes there's like a little bit of closed-mindedness not with the people I'm like homies with but like that was definitely something that was like very prevalent the first two weeks of college do you get homesick how do you deal with it um yeah the first two weeks I like would call my mom crying like often and I like hated it just because like I was so far and I didn't know anyone coming here and that's really hard when you have like no support system here or anything it definitely has gotten a lot better um also I'm not really someone to get that homesick and I wanted like a huge change that's why I was gonna go to either California or Scotland so like basically six hours each way from like where I live so yeah I'm not really homesick anymore but I deal with it by just like talking to my friends and stuff but also like trying to like get immersed with like people here and just like really putting myself out there that's what like helps the most how to get guys to like you um literally couldn't tell you no like genuinely also I'm like too busy for guys right now like I have so much going on like I just once you kind of realize that like you don't need guys to like validate you or like who you are then it's like you'll be fine like once you find that inner confidence that like kind of overrides anything a guy could give you then I don't know it kind of just makes you feel like a boss ass bitch and it's like you don't need someone else to like give you external validation which was something that was really hard because all of high school I was like why don't guys like me like whatever whatever and now I'm like okay I'm the best thing you'll never have next that's just the way you have to think about it because if you don't then it's just like a lot of self-deprecation what's the hardest adjustment in college friends which is still something that's hard like I know I have like a lot of good friends but um I don't know I still haven't like met that many people and um I still kind of like cling on to the people I like um just because I don't like having like a lot of friends I like having a smaller amount of friends that I like really connect with so that's kind of the hard like something that's hard favorite songs at the moment honestly I haven't been super into music recently just because I've been like so busy and stressed um and when I'm stressed I watch YouTube you can follow me on Spotify because all the songs I like are on my playlist there and I made a new playlist called bells the other day I've been listening to um Masego a lot who I really like I think his music is just like so beautiful and I only knew the song Tado for a while but I've been listening to his other albums and they're like fire but like obviously ASAP Rocky like I just I love ASAP Rocky the Mac Miller Spotify singles are really good but they're really sad yeah. so are UCSB students naturally grouped with others who have the same major as them not at all like not at all dream travel location Croatia that's really on my list. Who are some of the creators who inspired you to start blogging? Casey Neistat. Ugh, he's an OG, but like I started my channel like two years ago. So that was, yeah. And then I ran into him when I was in the city with my dad and I freaked out. Do you party a lot in college? Honestly, like not really. Like UCSB has a huge party reputation, but I mean, it's not any more than any of my other friends at other schools. Honestly, like Syracuse, Michigan, and Boulder, cause like those are where my friends go. I feel like they go out more than me. I mean, those are kind of party schools, so that makes sense. But UCSB is also one, but yeah, I don't go out that much. I don't go out because I get lazy and I get tired, but honestly, the truth of it is that a lot of the time I don't have people to go out with just because I don't have like a solid group of friends. So when my like three friends are busy, I'm like, okay, <laughs> what do I do now? Everyone always asks me about my stats of how I got into UCSB. Um, I had a 4.1 QM GPA and a 29 on my ACT. Yeah, I'm a really bad test taker. My first ACT I took, I got a 24. Don't laugh at me. I got a 21 on the math section, so I'm not laughing. Honestly, I probably did too. Someone asked me about my biggest pet peeve, and I literally thought of one today, but now I can't remember it. When people repost on their Instagram story when other people post about them for their birthday, and then on their birthday, they just post like literally 12 or like 20 things of people wishing them happy birthday, and I... I'm just like, okay, it's your birthday, we get it. Like, trust me, my birthday is my favorite day of the year, but like, I don't know. There's just something about that that I'm like, oh, I don't know. Is it hard to meet boys in college? Yes! Mm -hmm. How are you always with friends? LOL, I wish I was. Honestly, I'm not. Like, I, I post when I'm with friends, but like, I'm alone like a lot of the time. 
Did you know Shawnee and Michelle before coming? No, I, well, Shawnee and I were gonna room with someone else, but then she dropped out of school the day before school. So we had a double for two weeks, and then Michelle moved in. Friend advice on how you handle conflict and confrontation. Um, I just try to be as least passive aggressive as possible, and when something annoys me, I just say it right away. Even if that means having confrontation, I think it's better than holding it in and then having subconscious resentment against someone. And I've just like learned, like I had this kind of like big friendship breakup like two years ago, and that taught me a lot about like who I am as a friend and like what I need as a friend, and also like my flaws as a person, a friend, whatever. So like the I like kind of learn to work on a lot of things and yeah I guess that's how I handle it just like being more open and like knowing that your feelings are valid and kind of understanding why you feel the way you do. Is Greek life chill at UCSB? Yes. I like don't even feel like I'm in a sorority. I just feel like I have friends. How was your high school experience? Well, for the first two years, I had crippling depression and really bad mental health, but the last two were fun, so. <laughs> what was your first impression of Shawnee? I hated her. The first day, we were like, best friends. Oh my god, we literally hit it off like, immediately. Like, it was, weird. It was so weird. It yeah, was like, really literally. Like I knew you for so long. Yeah. And then everyone always would ask us, they'd be like, oh, so like you guys knew each other coming here? Like, cause we met, like, we would like see other people like literally two days before we met. And then we were like, no, we literally met last week or like whatever, or, like two days ago. How do you deal with stress? Um, I just kind of think about, in the grand scheme of things, if like these little school assignments will like really matter that much. And that kind of helps me. Also, I like, if we're talking about school stress here, I kind of think that like I, have purpose as a person outside of school and academics so you know I'm trying my best but I don't get too hard on myself because yeah I just like I feel like I'm a good person sometimes so that helps me like stay grounded okay Michelle's back Michelle spill the tea so um while Michelle was gone Lucy over here <laughs> stole one of her water bottles <laughs> again is this like the third or fourth time third I think I got really thirsty, I had a headache. There's water outside, you know. See, I had is... no pants on. I still have no pants on. <laughs> then you put on pants. That is so much work. It's part of society. Favorite place in New Zealand. Um, I mean, I love Wellington because all my family lives there, but like the root burn track in the South Island, best three days of my life. Favorite Instagrammers. Um, okay, I love, wait, let me find this. Okay, Killer and a Sweet Thing. Um, she's a sex educator. She's like actually incredible. Like I love her content. And then Gracie Abrams. I just think she has the coolest Instagram. Her Instagram reminds me a lot of Pearls and it makes me feel happy. So people were asking like, since I'm studying film, like what I want to do with my life. And I don't want to be like a videographer just because I'm not that good with like professional video and stuff. But I would love to be like a director of photography or something or like, I'm really bossy. So like something like that. I feel like I just have a lot of creative vision. I just, I wouldn't want to be a videographer. Self love tips. Okay, that's gonna be kind of like the last question. I used to have the absolute worst self-confidence like ever. Like it was actually so bad. I would look at myself in the mirror and just like stare at my cellulite and my stretch marks and be like, you are so ugly. And then I kind of just had this inner realization that like no one cares about you or no one is thinking about you as much as you're thinking about yourself. And once I kind of overcame that and realized that like, you know what, like this is who I am. Like why am I like hating on myself so much? Like it, this is just stupid. And once I kind of had that and started like practicing confidence because I do believe like it is a habitual thing, then I kind of started to like embody that into my daily life. And I still struggle with confidence like when it comes to YouTube more, not so much like body image but once I had more confidence about myself I just like held myself better and like I would my anxiety went down because I was less like so consumed with what other people thought of me and it literally changes your life because you start to think of yourself and like the ideas you have and like who you are as a person as someone who's worth something and that literally just changes your life and you start 
to just think less about your appearance on social media and like I don't know all this like random stuff but that comes with habitual practices of self-love and so I think I'll do a more in-depth video on that again because I made my like how to love yourself video a really long time ago and it's probably really cringy um so I think I'm gonna do that again just because that was something that like completely changed my life um and yeah that's kind of it this was all over the place. I don't even remember what I talked about. Sorry if I'm boring. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching Vlogmas Day 6. Um, follow me on Instagram, so if I ever do one of these again, you can ask me questions. I've been trying to answer all my DMs. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through them. I um, always try to answer them all, but um, I just... They got backed up and then I forgot to answer a lot of them. But I'm trying. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat. And yeah. Make sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with Vlogmas and all my other content. Turn on my post notifications so you'll be the first to be notified when I post. Yeah, love you guys.